Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Whenever you create a new presentation in PowerPoint, you'll need to know how to save in order to access and edit later. Now, it's important to save your presentation whenever you start a new project or make changes to an existing one. Just locate and select the save command on the quick access toolbar. This one over here, just click on it. Now, if you're saving the file for the first time, the savers pane will appear in the backstage view. Now, from here, you'll need to choose where to save the file and give it a file name. So click browse, then give it a file name. I'll name mine save. Then a location, I'll save it in the desktop. Then click on save. Now the presentation will be saved and you can click the save command again now to save your changes as you modify the presentation. You can also access the save command by pressing Ctrl plus S on your keyboard. Now that's a shortcut. Now you can also use save as command to make a copy. If you want to save a different version of a presentation while keeping the original, you can create a copy. To do this, go back to the backstage view, then click on save us. Now browse wherever you want to save that document and give it a different file name. So I'll save this one um, presentation two. Then I'll also save it on my desktop, then click save. Now I've saved, if I minimize this, um, you'll see I have two presentations, two PowerPoint presentations. The first one, the original one is save, and the second one is presentation two. So you can use the save as command to make a copy of the original presentation. Now you know how to save, how the difference between save and save as in presentations in PowerPoint.